Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna pull some cards for your current energy. Today I'm using the Affirmator's Tarot deck and the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, which you can find these linked in my bio. Okay, so this is for anyone who has Taurus in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus need to know for their highest good and only their highest good. The sun, four of swords, three of swords. What else can you tell me? Knight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So I see either there is a need for healing or you're in the process of healing. Um, this could be something that has happened a long time ago that you're healing from or this healing journey has been taking a long time but the thing with healing it's you know healing's not linear it's an ongoing process um so with the hanged man here it can be uh, a reminder that we often can get stuck in a mindset and instead of getting stuck, or if you feel like you're in, stuck in a negative mindset, to really focus on changing your perspective. There's an emphasis in changing your perspective on a situation in order to heal and reach the sun energy, which is enlightenment, it's Happiness is the happiest card in the deck. Because there's obviously pain here. We have the Three of Swords. What can you tell me about the sun? What can you tell me about the sun? Oh, gosh. It went flying. emperor taking control of your life that's the, that's the immediate thought I got maybe you feel like you've lost control what can you tell me about the four swords It's also okay to take a break, to rest. People often think that they need to um, like earn rest, but as humans, we, we need rest in order to, to grow and to to live a happier life. Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Hermit. Yeah, this is an energy of really sitting in these deep emotions of some kind of disappointment in your past, this pain, maybe even regret. Um, again, the Hermit's very much like the hand the hanged man energy where it's a solitude energy of sitting with yourself and reflecting and sitting with your feelings you'd be surprised what comes up when you take the time to yourself and meditate journal Whatever you need to do in order to 
to really feel those emotions. What is the Three of Swords about? Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, yeah. A lot of conflict, a lot of change with two fives here. Um, could be just feeling left out. Could be loss of money. There's fighting. What else can you tell me? Now, this conflict can be uh, from within, but I'm kind of getting that this is involving somebody else. And just as I said, say that, we've got the Queen of Wands and the Devil. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a fire sign, but you don't have to. It's just what's coming out. Um, yeah, whoever this was, they, they were toxic. Um, they were just toxic. And even though, like, when we leave toxic people behind, it's, you know, even though it's for the best, it doesn't mean that it's any less hard to walk away from it. And that's okay. You know, it's okay to feel that way. You're only human. Nine of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Nine of Pentacles? Six of Wands. So you are going to achieve success in moving on. So that's a good sign. What can you tell me about the hanged man? Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. So once you start really enforcing these new perspectives, it's going to really help catapult you towards um, the sun energy because there's a lot of fast movement with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of, and the Knight of Swords. I feel like that was pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna pull a card from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck for additional advice. Shark, swim away from the situation. 35. Swim away from the devil. Think of this as the lover's reverse from traditional tarot. You've been hanging around a bloodthirsty shark and they've hurt you before. This could refer to a lover or could refer to any loved one, such as a friend or family member. To put it simply, you, you deserve better treatment and you're never going to find it with them. Leave now. Situations like this often grow so dire that you no longer feel safe swimming away. Yeah, you have to be very careful of not staying in a situation that is unsafe for you. And if you ever feel like you need help, reach out because there are people in your life who do care and do love you that is your reading taurus i hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you and i'll see you in the next one love you